Good afternoon people, PJT, come right my beer. Right, today we're going to do a double. Now this was kindly delivered to Simo Sups from Mr B's Brewery, Mr B, well it's not Bramall Does, well Bramall Does is one of them, Mr B's Home Brewing and I'll put a link. No, yeah. That'd be easier. Anyway, they were kindly, six different beers were kindly delivered to Simo from Rob. And Rob and Simo are really good friends. One's Man United, one's a cup winner, one's Man City, a champions. So. Okay, let's get onto the really good stuff, which is these beers. Thank you so much, Rob, for giving us the opportunity to try these. I'm really excited about this. have tried some of Rob's beers before, and he's a home brewer, which um, usually you think home brewers, oh yeah, they might be okay, they might be a little bit hit and miss. <laughs> Rob, actually, from the beers that I've tried of his, can he's brew. a phenomenally good home brewer. Almost as good as me. So, yeah, really excited to try these. And we do have, these. with it being a Dunkel Albert, that we're going to do along with the Dunkel Buck, and if you think of <laughs> Uncle Albert, and you think of Rob, and <laughs> you're kind of halfway there, and you're not even he's at me for his beer. You know, he's got some more Rob beers in his rucksack there, hasn't he? Yeah, indeed. So, yeah, we're going to start off with a Dunkel Albert, um, which is, let's say, 5% ABV, and then we're going to go on to Dunkel Buck. I think Buck's Albert's friend, I think, although it was brewed, I believe... Um, six weeks later, so he's kind of his mate, if that makes sense. So this is five percent, and this one's a little bit stronger, yeah, isn't it? Five point five. Right. Okay. But they are both dark uh, wise and beers. Yeah. As I say, um, with regards to Rob beers, he sent us once a wise and bulk. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> Nearly nine percent, and Jesus, yeah, he hit some highs. Right, you want to pour that okay, one in? Okay, I'll start pouring that one. Obviously, we don't have a Mr. B's official glass. They're not released yet to the public you never know in time though uh, okay oh look at this and you can see that is looking as it should there's some lovely rich color in there so wow yeah look at that it almost goes like that with the bubbles doesn't it look at that with the glass and the glass was only cleaned very recently wasn't it the colour of this is wonderful. It's a really lovely dark colour. Um, I can see some of the bubbles coming up there. Tiny little bubbles. Little which is bubbles there. Nice off-white head. Always a sign of a good brew when there's little bubbles, it isn't is. it? So, okay, let's have a smell. See what we get from this one. Mm. But yeah, thank you very much, Rob. Much appreciated. And we wanted to try this one, didn't we? Or more so you did when you see. Yeah, I really did. I thought the name was really, really clever. I look forward to trying this beer. Yeah, wonderful. Wonderful fruity smells in there. Yeah, it's like a, a, a wheat beer that's German. Got your banana, haven't you? Yeah, maybe a bit more different fruit. And the thing is, with Rob, let's be honest here, he just buys his ingredients in and literally boils the stuff on his stove, in his kitchen, and bango, yeah. you know. Yeah, none, none of the fancy stuff, he does it the traditional absolutely. way, so that's... Absolutely spot on. Really amazing. Okay, yeah. so yeah, I'm picking up some really nice fruit smells from this. Um, oh, I'm gonna have to go in there and try it. Yeah, we, we've had them out, as you can see, the fridge for a while, so they should be somewhat warmer, because obviously, and if you know as a dunkel you want to go just a little bit higher than you would another one. So Oh that's good. Apple banana slight hint or raisin maybe. That's nice. That's refreshing. Um there's a smoothness to it. But also the flavours are moving around nicely in your mouth because you've got those nice fine bubbles that are moving moving those flavours like like I said round your palate. That really is refreshing. It's nice, look. Like, and mm. it's the, the thing is with that, it's not too heavy, it's not too full bodied like some of them. It's slightly lighter bodied, which means it's gonna be more easier to drink, which is good, especially with the summer months coming up. 
a lot of the time with darker beers you look at them and you think they're going to be heavy they're going to be winter style beers this one may look like that but it isn't with those lovely fruity flavors in there and the lighter body on it this is nice this is a really nice one for this time of year oh, there is a slight pepperiness on the end something a little bit spicy not too much bitterness so you're going along with that nice fruity palette all the way through Ooh. and it is again you're not going to get well, there's not a lot of people actually in england that actually even do dunk or do they? No. It's, it's hard enough to get some of the brewers to do a to do a, a normal one but yeah for me that's really quite in a class of its own it's, it, it's like paul says it's not one that people are going to go out and brew like home brews i don't think a lot of people would attempt that um, well, I don't think they could. That's the problem. And I'll do it if I could. You'd when, love it. Yeah, I would love it. Because you have so much competition there to get it right. The German beers, as we know, are absolutely phenomenal. So to come anywhere close, you have to be very good. I think you've pulled this off, Rob. I think you have. Right, so do you want to have a look at the bulk yeah. and then we can have a look at them together if you want? Yeah, because I'm kind of getting my way through that quite quickly. But yeah, as as expected, and I must admit, we kind of did expect that. It will be good. You kind of you kind of know with Rob, and he does know his stuff. You know, um, as I do look at his channel, we'll put a link in because if you ever want to know anything about home brewing, how this is done, yeah. how that's done, and he does know his stuff. You know, I I speak to him sometimes. He comes on the lives, and I've had a few beers, so I'm not that bright as a lot of you know in a way. But <laughs> when I've had a few, I'm absolutely baffled it really is look at that brewing in itself is a real science yeah this one's got wonderful color as well look at that that to me looks somewhat thicker yeah looks a little bit thicker i forgot to get a picture of the other one you're getting too excited with rob's beer i didn't manage i didn't get a picture did i i do apologize rob but we have got a thumbnail done already but yeah that just looks that i know it's only 0.5 more but it looks more heavier in body visually I'm, I'm getting a little That's bit it. more of an amber almost yeah almost a ruby what kind of hue coming up from that yeah. one but again lovely rich looking in color the that small nice bubbles off -white head. yeah the yeah. white head oh mm, that one's a little bit more spicy yeah I'm getting a little bit more cinnamon and clove, that kind of feel to this, off the aroma anyway. Just give it a swirl, not over the floor. Yeah, I would say I was getting more, like towards, going towards the, the coffee notes, the, yeah. the chocolate, the coffee notes for me on that, more so than mm. that one. I'm probably totally incorrect, Rob, but I'll only say how, how it is, but... Yeah, a little bit of coffee there, maybe a little bit of dark chocolate. Yeah, dark even. chocolate, yeah. I'll just kind of... Mm, okay. In we go. Dunkle Buck. Straight from Mr B's Home Brewing. At 5.5% ABV. That's more for me of a Dunkel Dunkel rather than a, a Weizen Dunkel, yeah. and it is it is it is heavier. It is it's slight, more... slightly heavier. The bubbles, yeah. the, the carbonation is still quite similar in there. It's still small bubbles that are just moving nice around the mouth. This for me is a little bit more spicy. I'm picking yeah. up a little bit of nutmeg, um, dark chocolate. You're getting those slightly more bitter tones that um, you sometimes get with these styles of drink. Yeah. They're quite a contrast, actually, aren't they? Yeah, you see, um, just on my opinion, obviously, I'd say that that's more of a Weizen Dunkel, and that's more of a, although you've got your Weizen hints in it, you've got yeah. your, your it's, yeast it's and still, your wheat. It's still quite creamy and smooth, with the small bubbles, uh, a little bit of breadiness. There's almost a little bit of nuttiness to this one as well. But it borders more away from that to a, a proper, proper Dunkel. Mm. But it does have the, the, the wheatiness and the yeast, so. Mm. I 
again, so smooth. And it does have that creamy. Yeah, it's got that creamy element to it. That creaminess to it, which is kind of, yeah. Maybe a little bit of nutmeg or something in there. Mm. So, out of the two, they're a little bit more different from each other than what I expected. When you first pulled them out and they look similar, obviously they're both going to be dark yeah. beers, but the actual flavours in them are a total contrast from each other, really. That one's really nice and More light. banana -y. Yeah. More fruity. The fruitiness, this time of year, that for me is just an absolute winner. Really, really good. This, I would prefer to drink this kind of autumn time. It's I like the spiciness of it. It kind of reminds me of um, autumn time when you're having... It's, you know, what you mean is yeah. it, it, it appears more heavy than it actually is. Because it's only 5.5, .5, but I get what you mean. That's more, say, if that was a light body, that would be a medium body. Yeah, it's, and it's got slightly more complex flavours going on in there. And it's definitely quite complex. And there's something that he's just literally brewed in his kitchen. Unreal. I think that's phenomenal. You know, I think you're brilliant at brew a beer, but these are really very, very good. Yeah, both, absolutely, in their own right. Spot mm. on, aren't they? I've got a sour to do yet and a saison from him, so I'm kind of excited. Oh, you're looking forward to that, And there's, aren't you? A, there's a couple of other ones for you, aren't there? So, you PR push, push to pick with the two, wouldn't you? Yeah. Because they say they've both got it and they've both got it in their own right, which is the whole idea, which is what I say. For someone that does this in their spare time, Rob's a phenomenal breed. He can review a sandwich as well, you know, I to make you a picnic. I tell you what, I was really picking out on those kind of almost chai kind of spiciness that I was picking out on this. But now that it's just, my palate's adjusting to it, there is actually hints of that ripe banana on the end. I'm actually getting that coming through and lingering on my palate a little bit. She's got both of them in her hands now. Look, look, she's like this. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. <laughs> yeah. In the mix. Those are definitely my style of beers. They, both of them, a really nice contrast to each other, and both really, really well done. Just absolutely spot on. But it does. It is more fruity. I know what you're saying. It's what it tasted at first. It what, does you have what you're first picking up on. What those kind of initial flavours that you're picking up on your palate. When that dies away and your palate kind of adjusts to this beer a little bit more. I am really picking up on that that kind of ripe banana taste that's lingering on the back of the palate. Very, very good. You should be proud of yourself, Rob. These yep. are brilliant beers. Well, can we say, I think I think they're both a yes, aren't they? Oh, definitely a yes Rob's, for me. Rob stood up and been counted again. Not for the first time, yep. and I'm pretty much sure not for the last time. As I say, this is two of six. There'll be another two and another two sooner rather than later, I would think. Yeah. So, what can I say? Thanks for watching. Do check out Rob's channel. As I say, he's got a home brewing channel yeah. and a food channel. Anyone who's interested in the home brewing, he's your guide to ask questions too because he's very knowledgeable. I, mean, I taught him everything he knows, by the way. Right. <laughs> Bonjour.